this wind. Wow. It is 95 degrees out right now. And the wind is just nutty. But that's a that's okay. That's not a bad thing because I, I like testing when things aren't perfect like that. Let's see what the wind does with this RPM filtering. That'd be cool. Um, and I'm trying it out. This is what I've been working on. This is the uh, TBS Source One. This is the version two. I have a, a version three on the bench that I'm still building right now, and it was uh, that one using. Speedix GS45 4 and one ESC with uh, paired with the CL Racing F7 twin gyro. That one's going to be fun too, and I hope I want to apply um, all the same thing to that. But this is the one I'm working on now, and that one, the other one is the Source One version three. This is version two, which I still like. It does very well. Uh, Xing the Zing 2207. really like the solid base. We were working with some that were open down here and it, it, it's not, it doesn't seem as stable. This is rock solid. I like it. Really strong. I think it looks pretty good too. The rally stripes. But we have that all set up. Uh, getting my tune down and you guys are really going to be interested in absolute control. You do not use any yaw eye term. It's, it's almost like a uh, because they say absolute control and integrated yaw acts like an I-term. Um, so it almost sounds like it might be a dynamic I-term. And it's only on yaw. So that's where I found this fascinating too because I started digging in. Wow, the wind is shaking the camera. I started digging into some of these settings and I'm seeing this stuff that's geared towards yaw. Um, a lot of tools that they've put in there. So it's almost like that they've made it for some of the things that I've, I don't want to say that's what it is, some others are experiencing, I know that I'm not the only one that's picky about the yaw and has the yaw twitch because I'm getting questions, that's why I'm doing a lot of these videos, is people are asking me, how do you get rid of the yaw twitch on 4.0? Um, one of my buddies in California keeps messaging me saying, yeah, it's, it's, it handles fine, but when you stop, and you don't even have to be doing a quick yaw maneuver, you're just, a yaw move and you stop, you'll get that bounce, and you'll see it in the video. You've seen it in the videos, I've said. It doesn't take much, and it does it. And you start using these other tools, and it helped. It started to really help, and I think it's because they've tried to make yaw proportion and, and integral so strong, so much authority in 4.0, it's almost too much until you use these these tools and and the filtering of course so there's a lot of filtering in there too but so I think that's kind of what they've been the direction they've been going it's just not all your hardware and things support that so some are having issues that I think in my opinion is is what kind of what they're going and, and what it's going to be used for but if you're not using high term relax you're not using absolute control you're not using integrated yaw that may be where some of the difficulties come in because I think that's what they're gearing towards. I want to show some on the bench of what I've been doing with, I've been testing it with a number of my builds and um, the first thing you have to get going is bi-directional D-Shot and not all of your ESCs and flight controllers will support it and you need to be on at least 4.0. They say it's more robust on 4.1. So I did, I tried 4.0 at first got it to work and I liked it um, it seems really nice it changes the sound and everything it's it's actually quite dramatic the difference and I'm excited to show you guys what I've had really look uh, just an example I tried to you also need to upgrade your ESC's it's not only your flight controller uh, firmware needs to be on 4.1 development but you also need to download development versions of BL Heli 32 so I'm running an um, experimental development version. It's like uh, 3266, something like that. I, I'd have to look. I'm going to show you on the computer, though. We'll get back to the bench, and I'll pull up some screenshots. I tried to do it on my Typhoon 
32 version 2 no go didn't work bi-directional D shot did not work when you try to flash to that version the ESC's lose sync and some of them you don't even see anymore and I read that in um, I'll put the links in there of um, github articles for bi-directional D shot and it'll show some of the boards that they've tested with and some that have problems my typhoon was listed in there and that was one of the issues was not all of your ESC's show up and sync up I think they listed it as not all of your motors but the problem is that I ran into you flash it it appears okay then you read set up again and my ESC 3 would not show up one two looked fine and then it would go to four no ESC 3 and I really started to panic I thought oh no and I tried reflashing with this the same experimental version because you guys have probably seen that too where flashing doesn't always go perfect sometimes you have to do it more than once and tried it more than once still no go I was running into problems and I even had trouble getting it back to the standard version that it was on the official release I had to flash that twice and then it finally came back up but it was it was one of those panic moments they're like oh no now I just ruined my ESC but nope it's okay but it just doesn't run by directional D-Shot yet. It could be just part of the software, it could be firmware. You know, maybe they haven't written the code for that to, to work quite right with, with that version yet. But my iFlight, and the ESC is an iFlight 50 amp. I can't remember the exact name of uh, the ESC, but it worked. I, I, I flashed it to the new BL Heli development. Everything went great flashed uh, the flight controller which is the twin G dual gyro uh, um, F7 board and started with the recommended github settings played around with that a little bit and that's where I started uh, working with absolute control and integrated yaw and things really started to get really cool um, I'm really excited about it I'll explain more on the bench let's let's do some flying see how it handles See how it works.
spares. I think I have three batteries left. Yeah, I, I don't really want to do any more tuning to it right now. It's it's so well. Hmm. And the other thing I want to mention too that I term relax. I have it on roll pitch. I don't think I have it on yaw right now. It's on set point too. That was where I was having some trouble was when I have it on gyro. It doesn't seem to like that. Um, it, it handles set point a little bit better on those crisp stops. So another thing to think about. But uh, yeah, it's awesome. Oh, it's good flying and don't break anything. Yeah. Oh my gosh. See you guys on the bench. <laughs>